Hey, you doing here? Okay, so uh, I've done, my, I've edited a video on my Blue FIC. It's a Pentium 4 with 2 gig of RAM with Kden Live. And I thought I would show, for one thing, that's how the screen looks when you, uh, I learned how to boot to, to set a program or an application as a desktop. So that's the only program you can get to in there. Um, and it, you know, uses less resources. I'm not sure if it's enough to make a huge difference, but, uh, you know, you're not running a full desktop. I'm not running XFCE is the one that, only one that'll really run on here hardly at all, and it's pretty slow. Mate, it's not that heavy of a desktop, but for a Pentium 4 single core, you know, it's a little too much. For Fedora 22, this is Fedora 22. Used to run great on Fedora 14 in the old and previous versions. Hang on. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, never fails. That was a jerky view of the results. It um, took all. I started it last night. Oh, I don't know, about two in the morning or something. Let it run all night, and uh, it finally finished. It says it kept giving estimates. They would change as it went, and uh, it was kind of hard. Uh, I guess it was giving estimates of the total because it started out at two hours and it got up to 22 hours, and now it says rendering finished in 16 hours, 42 minutes, 13 seconds. So I guess that's probably about right because it's not 22 or 24 hours or anything because it's not two in the morning. So uh, takes a good long while. Well, it's a two-hour video, though, so turn. And it was an AUG video that really just needs converting, but Kden Live is actually one of the better ways to do it uh, from from what I've got. Uh, I use Fedora, and there's one that I've been... I don't know if I ever really used it or not, one called Handbrake, an application. It's just for converting. And... Um, It'll run on the Bane and, you know, and Ubuntu. They got a package specially made for Ubuntu, but not uh, the Bane, but I know there's a dev package I can try it. And I've got a laptop with that on it. That's the next time I'll try that conversion because I got a whole bunch of uh, AUG desktop videos that need to be converted so I can upload them to YouTube. And um, I don't want to have to edit every one of them. I went ahead and did it on this one. And of course I picked the longest video I've made in forever too. It's like one hour and 54 minutes long. And I could have cut it down, but I kind of wanted to just leave it like, I thought, well, I'll leave it as it is. All I did was add a, a little slideshow clip at the beginning there. Because the beginning, you know, it was me. It was just me checking to make sure the video was working right. And uh, so I thought, well, you know, I can hear the talking couple of pictures uh, that have to do with what I'm going to talk about and then um, at the beginning for like 20 to 10 seconds early a little a little less than that I think and uh, then do the video as is and uh, so that's what I did and it took forever and that's why I end up not editing my videos it just takes so long I can't you know so the machine I'm using all the time on a Lenovo i5 I can't work and do anything with that and it's quad core with four gig of RAM but I, you know I can't get any can't work with all that going on just not enough machine uh, so an older machine will do it you just gotta but then then you know uh, I've tried it on a little you know like dual cores and stuff uh, an hour video usually takes about five hours to to render so uh, and I'm rendering it 1080p and uh, uh, you know uh, let's see was it 192 bit audio and uh, I forget what the video was but anyway it's the highest one I could select on mp4 and uh, I don't know. Here's the machine down here. You can't. It's down in my right. That blue one there. Blue, red, red, black, uh, blue, blue FIC. That's what I call it. And uh, there's no lights to show you that it's running, but it's running. And uh, I, and I can uh, plug in my four terabyte. Uh, backup drive USB backup drive to it and, and get to it it'll mount I can get, just click on when I clicked on it and uh, you know to try to go get some files off of it those, those pictures that I was using in KDN Live it mounted so that was cool because I thought uh oh I won't be able to get to that because I had to go mount it in uh, K, uh, you know some other program but it actually mounted there 
So the ba the kind of the built-in, well, I guess it just uses the built-in file manager, the regular one with uh, Fedora. That's what it does. I don't, uh, when you go to open up a file, you know. But it, I saw it in the list, and so I just clicked on it, and then it took it a little bit, and then it came up. So I think it was, I'm sure it was mounting it. I could, didn't say it was, but I'm, I can just kind of tell because I know my systems pretty well, you know. But um, anyway, I just thought it'd be, I, I wanted to kind of have a little record of how long it took this time and for myself because I keep forgetting. And um, and then I wanted to kind of show, and I don't have, I don't even remember how, I, it's, it's really pretty simple setting up. Uh, to get one, to get it to do that, I have it set up where I can boot just into Kden Live to edit videos, you know, uh, to without any other overhead. And also, I'm going to close this because it's done. And uh, then I have um, I have another one set up for just uh, total, uh, not Total Commander, uh, Crusader, which is like Total Commander. I started with Total Commander way back in Windows 3.1, but uh, Crusader is a twin panel file manager that's really powerful and and sometimes you know I might want to I don't remember why I did it now to be honest probably just so I could do syncing or something uh, without any over, uh, extra overhead because that uses quite a bit of system usage so um, oh yeah I want to copy okay I want to copy it to my drive so um, can't do that with with Kden Live, so I'm gonna quick cat. Oh, maybe that wasn't what I wanted to do. I'm gonna hit cancel because there might be a better way. Well, first I'm gonna hit save. It, I think all it's saving is the last bit of how I render it and everything. That's it. Always does that, so I'm gonna let that do that first, and then. Uh, because, you know, I always save before I start rendering. And so, yeah, that's what it is. It's saving the rendering properties. I also, it's not in there, but, well, I'll show that right here. If you ever wanted to do that again, of course, you don't. I, I realized, I think it's pretty tired. It's moving pretty slow. I realized that, really, there's not much uh, reason to do it again. The exact same edit, but uh, I clicked on render, and I thought I'd show you. But what you can do is... Um, save a, a script that could re redo that render of course what you what I've never tried it but what you might be able to do to save on resource usage is make that script I think that might be the idea uh, and then uh, close down the program so it's not you know the machine's not having to because Kden Live you know it uses a little bit of system resources it's just itself just running and then uh, run that script, and so all you've got is just the command line. You know, you don't have all the, the good GUI back end being used. So uh, I may try that uh, maybe next time. There's a bunch of videos in here that I, I went ahead and put them all in there because they're all about the same subject. And I thought I can open up this file and uh, run it again, you know. And uh, I mean, edit it again and change it, and probably really just take out. This is the one that I would. This one up here is the one that I was editing, but probably just take it completely out because I don't think there's no use in duplicating. And then there's my slideshow clip. And uh, what it is is a screenshot of a full website. And then um, that's why it's so skinny and funny looking. Uh, and um, I'm looking through here. I was wondering, I, I found another video over on my other machine, the one where I always save stuff when I make it. And I thought, I wonder if I ever even put that in here. I'm kind of wondering if I did. 14 minutes, 10 minutes. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't guess I ever got it copied over. I think, oh, I made, I think I made it after these and I kind of, wait, that might be it right there. 27 minutes. I can't see the full name. I don't know if moving that over, well, that doesn't even help to be able to see the name. Wait, can you do it? Yeah, there we go. I thought there should be a way to see that full name. There's, there's no descriptions anyway. See, I don't want to lose that altogether. Man. Well, you need that space in there for when you do start using. But uh, you know. Okay, yeah, this is a phone video. So the other one is a desktop video. It's an OGV. So no, I don't have it in here. 
So I've got another AUG video that I need to convert. Because uh, YouTube doesn't take AUGs. I swear, I keep saying this every time I mention it. I swear they used to. And I used to upload them, but they don't now. I know that. So, uh, and you and I, I can have converted them recently with uh, AUG convert, which is actually, you know, kind of made to convert things to AUG, but it will also do WebM. So you can convert an AUG to WebM. And, um, or you can convert anything else to AUG. Uh, but, you know, AUG is, uh, it's a, decent uh, you know it's an open source video format and it's good and uh, it doesn't stream super good it doesn't stream as well it has to download it seems like it has to down ca it'll start caching on you you know it, da it doesn't download and stream as quickly and play as well smoothly as mp4s and all, you know, all the other ones like that so um flvs which i don't want to mess with flash and, um and uh MKV was that the one that I guess is supposed to be the newest in basically it's MP4, new version MP4 I think but I think it's the H.265 codec and I think MP4 is H.264 codec if I remember right but anyway um, I was using an app on the phone and it said oh this is better you know M MKV don't you want to use that and someone had used it and you know, I don't know I couldn't really tell you know any difference because I wasn't I didn't have anything to compare it to but it was a streaming stream it was actually it's called IP webcam you can stream your phone camera uh, and I had to go down to 720p it started out at 10 1080p 1920 by something or I mean 1080 by 1920 or whatever and um, I had to go down to 720 by 480 before I could uh, and it was still a little bit of lag when I would move that's what I think that's what that is right there that you're looking at with me I think that's what that's from no, it's not either. I think that's my webcam on my laptop when I did that. Now that's the MP. I'm crazy. That's an MP4 and it's got those numbers, so that's uh, that's from my phone. I have my phone up in the tripod, straight sh shot and straight at me because that's why it's pretty clear and everything. And of course, I don't have trouble with the phone using the normal, you know, settings in the camera. Then, or well, the best ones that I can that it can do. It won't uh, lag, but when you're streaming across your network and then looking at it in a VLC is what I've been using, or the web browser. You're gonna, you get a little lag, and that's what I'm going at about that other. But anyway, I'm off, off track of what I intended to do. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I guess I don't remember what it does when it when I hit quit. So let's find out. I got it saved. I was thinking I would add that other video I was talking about in there, but it's not even on the machine, and I don't want to go find it on the. I mean, I could. I don't want to add it from the USB drive because I, I don't want it to be dependent on that USB drive. I, I, I'll go ahead and copy them over to the machine. So I don't know if it's going to... There we go. I don't know if it's going to shut down or what. Oh, there are some lights on there. I see them now. Red and green lights. I thought that thing had lights. So, um... They're blinking now. Yeah, maybe they just weren't blinking a while ago. So it's not to uh, shut... Oh, there we go not shut down it's just uh it was going back to that's what i thought it might do go back to the login screen that's why i decided to do it on the video so here's my different one see i've got crusader if i log in there then i just have crusader file manager mate desktop plasma sugar and xfce i wanted to try that plasma oh that's kde plasma that's real heavy I, and I, I like to have it for a backup desktop like if anything gets broke if my desk if my gui got Windows gets broken. Windows G uh, can't say it right. If my graphic def desktop gets broken, then uh, I got something to get in to fix it with, and it's and you can use uh, KD uh, Crusader is a KDE app. I must be really tired. Sugar, I think I just wanted to try it out. I, I don't think I care for it much, but uh, I don't even remember what it looks like. So really, I don't need. Uh, I, I was thinking I would. I might just. Whoops, that's not what I meant to click on. I didn't change it. Uh, uh, XFCE is what I really want. So um, there's no point in making any more video, though. I'm, uh, I might go copy that that video I was just talking about. Now that I know what it's, I know I've got been looking at it, messing with it today, so I know what it is. So I may copy it to this machine before I shut it out or go on to what I'm doing. But actually, I don't know if I need to because, it's like I said, oh yeah, I was gonna, I was thinking I was put it on the. Well, if I decided to edit it together with some of that other stuff, I'd want that. But otherwise, I may just leave it as is and convert it 
to uh, you know something that'll go up on YouTube with that uh, handbrake. Yeah. So I think I'll just uh, not try to do that right now because well maybe I will. Gosh, I'm crazy, aren't I? I'm really tired. That's what it is. Okay. Um. So I won't. I'll just stop the video. I'm rambling. All right. This is done. Bye bye.